but I'm Italian and Mexican. I'm really jealous. <laughs> I will throw a chair out a window. <laughs> <laughs> Ask questions later. I was talking to my ex the other day. Him and I are friends, oh, actually. Okay, well, there it is. <laughs> and, and, Let's go home. But I spend my money on hotels and plane tickets. Yeah. I mean, yes. that's literally it. Boring thing I've ever heard. It's true because I don't. I don't have like my barely pay any rent in New York. It's cheap. My, I got a really? cheap. I got a one bedroom in the village for twenty four hundred. Pretty great. <laughs> Knock on wood, it never changes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. You know is, what? You enjoy your addition. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I'm like, wow, I'll live it up. Even the addition, the rooms kind of feel like I'm sleeping in an Apple store, but you know, yeah. it's all sterile. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> But they have room service. I love, it's like I'm a prince every morning. I love I do, <laughs> making the call, ordering extra. I want apricot jam and then they come in. It's always some gay and they give you the food and it's Is great. Like a, an upsell? A bigger package? Kind of. Yeah. Well, well. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> actually, the other day a guy came in and I was like, is he trying to fuck me? Like, he was like, do you need anything else? Anything at all? And I was like, uh... What else is on the menu? <laughs> yeah. no, I was I was like, no, thank you. I was like, I'm so, like, a Victorian woman. I'm like, oh, please, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I turn into Maggie Smith when I flirt. Maggie Smith? Yeah, I'm like... I'm that like was a, uh, McGonagall? McGonagall, Yes. Right? Yes. It's you are straight. That is not where I would have gone. I would have gone to Downton Abbey. <laughs> McGonagall. McGonagall. Yeah. Sure. Professor McGonagall. Why is it Harry Potter? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. She was in Hook, remember? <laughs> oh, she was in Hook. I haven't seen Hook in forever. Okay, we're going to do the podcast because we're not going to cut that because that was all too good and we're not going to lose the okay. McGonagall impression. That was so good. We've got Mateo Lane, and I never read introductions to my phone, but I don't want to mess this up. Oh. Uh, First of all, welcome back to Wild Till Nine. Oh, yeah, so sorry. Welcome back to Wild Till Nine. We are here. <laughs> <laughs> we're back. Mateo Lane, comedian, five <laughs> language. We have speaking, a guest today. Polyglot. <laughs> You're a polyglot, right? That, that. Uh, yes. I, I mean, really, four. But, yes. but I, I, I studied German for a long time and I can communicate. Yeah, it has to be over three, right? I thought yeah, it's it gets over three. three? You, you're already. I think like, you're a full fledged polyglot. Am I? Okay, yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll accept. Oh, yeah. what's funny in France, I could tell you in, in French, I could tell, I can't even say it in English. I can't, I can tell you my life story, but I can't count to 10. In so French? I have, yeah, I don't know how to count in French. So I have like all these like. That's gaps. all Lauren knows. Do I speak more French than you? Probably. <laughs> I think so. Okay. A uh, YouTuber, a uh, Twitcher. Opera singer extraordinaire, <laughs> McGonagall impression doer, yep. <laughs> artist, digital artist, oil painter, mm -hmm. and excellent mustache haver. Well, Thank you. you. You forgot Welcome the, most, to import, the podcast. most important part. What is it? Also from Illinois. Also from Illinois. Oh, where are you from? Rockford, Illinois. Oh, wow. Rockford. Rockford. Yeah. You, I, I oh. used to sing at gay strip clubs in Rockford. They have gay strip yeah. clubs in Rockford? <laughs> yeah. What gay I think <laughs> I, it's true. Before I became a comedian, I would I wanted to sing. I wanted to be Mariah Carey. So I guess a gay comic is as close as I'm going to get. And um, <laughs> But there was this group that they were like, okay, we want, I was like 21. They were like, we, 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 we go and we perform at gay strip clubs. So in between the strippers, they have drag queens and dancers. And I was going on as a singer. That's so fun. You know, looking back, it's fun, but at the time, it was like a. F Look, I was young, and I, I would, I just wanted to sing Streisand. But right. <laughs> there is nothing worse than being in like a basement. Like the basement was so gross. Was I this an establishment, or was this a, like a, a place? This was a, a gay bar. An Over the eight or something, it was called. There's was like one gay bar downtown Rockford that oh, we would go sing. We're absolutely going. Next and time we're back. And we are going. Yeah, strippers we're going. would come out, and then I would be like, memory. <laughs> like it was just so. Yeah, and I did that in Chicago. We because I lived in Chicago. We were doing it all over Chicago, gay bars. I, I now look back, I'm like, what a fun like vaudevillian time. What, I, what great word! Ch yeah. Chicago was the first um, like bar that I went to mm -hmm. that was a gay bar, and I just thought they were like every city had Boys Town. I, oh, thought yeah. that, I thought that was just like what you called the gay area of every city. Oh, it's Boys Town. So like I remember I said that here, and they were like, "That's kind of rude." I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It's kind of offensive. It's Twiho. No, it's Boys Town. It's like, you know, it's the, where the gay people go in that city. Incorrect. I think they changed it to North Halstead to make it more inclusive. Now they have. They yeah. have now. Yeah, but yeah, back in the day. And that makes you back in my day. <laughs> if you wanted to find gay people, you found them. You're, I had to get like a fake ID. I didn't know what a drag queen was until I was like 19. I got a fake ID and went to a bar. And well, you just like like told me for the first time that like there's a gay establishment in Rockford. That's like I'm a pretty bigoted. Well, there's always a gay. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you know, right. Yeah, we yeah, always yeah, kind of. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. It would be there. I just didn't know if there was like a sign where they had like an entrance. They checked oh, IDs. We're gonna find it. I cannot, I'm oh, literally, going. I'm going straight to Instagram. I'm going to find it. We're going. TikTok. Yeah. I sang there. Wow. Yeah. I can't wait. The one place in Rockford. Should we bring I didn't Donna? Say. Should we bring Donna? Yes. My mother, 
We're working on her. Okay. I, I think that she could get down with some drag queens. Is she is she conservative? Before or after Tucker Carlson? Well, yeah, she doesn't rock yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, it's like a weird place, though. It's like, it's very, like, half and half. It's like people- Some that, of like, the churches had rainbow flags. Really? Rockford? Big for Rockford. Really? Yes, They remember? did the last yeah, time. Yeah, because your mom, we drove by them. She What's, went, what did, is your mother, like, super religious? Religious. I mean- Donna, let's- 2023. I mean, okay. Donna. She, her and Tucker, I mean. Oh, like, she's best. a fox. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. 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 I'm trying my best to not hear that someone is a, a religious and conservative and then feel a certain way. Like, I'm really trying my best to be like, we, you know what? We should focus on the things that we have in common. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they reciprocate that, but you know what? For me, I'm trying my best. Oh, I can just hear her, what, what, what she would have to say. Oh, the, he, what a nice looking man. Thank you, Donna. Uh, uh, and he's got a beautiful voice. And, um... We uh, actually talked about this uh, because Donna is like the the perfect example of a conservative who sometimes gives homophobic hom homophobic homophobic energy, but actually loves gay people. Like yeah. she By would way, love you. Everyone confused. loves gay people until they come out. Like that was the rule. Like <laughs> everyone loved Richard Simmons. Everyone loved like we love. Richard Simmons isn't gay. Is he? Okay. Well, I, I hate to break it. <laughs> Allegedly, um, <laughs> but you know, uh, uh, Paul Lind, like ah, 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 on Hollywood Squares, like yes. a star, but you just couldn't say you were gay. If you say, like, right. I, you know, these it changes like, everything. Oh, it changes everything, right? Everything. So, but I, I, I have gay voice, I couldn't help it. <laughs> I learned more about gay voice today watching Flagrant, which, by the way, Me too. that's not usually the content that I feel like I go to Flagrant to watch, but I was like, this is but amazing. <laughs> yeah, <I'm not> <laughs> but it was, it was like I was like watching a, like a, a master class on gay. No, but it's also <laughs> watching a straight man talk to a gay man for the first time ever. But he lives in New York. <laughs> I guess. No, Schultz. I, when I would say what Schultz did, he did a great way of introducing uh, gay people to maybe an audience that otherwise You're would so not right. have been You're familiar so right. with. You're so yeah. right. You're and so to right. To show like we're comfortable and we can banter and we can have yeah. a good time yeah. and stuff. But um, I would. You know, usually I don't like doing uh, uh, stuff where people. Only want to ask me about being gay, I'm like, what, like you don't have Wikipedia. Like, why am I doing this? Watch Paris is Burning, you know. So, but it was Andrew, and he, I thought he was genuinely curious and yeah. wanted to ask questions. And he was also, as a comic to a comic, mm -hmm. he was setting me up for jokes. Right. right. So the whole thing was just letting me be funny, and then right. he, him and Akash, and yeah, it was. I had a great time. But the fact that, uh, like you were saying earlier. That episode seems to be like a catalyst where mm -hmm. things started to go really well to an audience. That I got might twenty thousand new followers the next day. To overnight, I've never, yeah, I never, I've never experienced anything like that. Oh I, my God. I was like, well, I hope this went well, and it just went so well, and I was like, oh my God! Like I remember. Also, I, that podcast is three hours long. Yeah, it's a long time. That's a, yeah, that's that's a long time for someone to decide. Like, especially if they make it through even an hour of that, they're like, oh yeah, I fuck with this guy, and you know, they cut stuff. True. But the fact that like an audience that might not have been familiar with it was like, oh, I'm gonna go follow this guy now. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. great. That's, that's amazing. Even better. Yeah, it yeah. was. It's fun. I always enjoy if a straight guy's like, you're funny, man. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> Okay, cool. Because okay. I don't think, because I think straight people are confused, like gay, like gay men, straight men. It's the same sense of humor. We just dress better. That's the only difference. True. Except for today, you're dressed much better than I am. Oh no, okay. I thought he was gay when I first met him. Did you? Look at this hair. Yeah, the hair is definitely. It's really good. I have a bit that I don't think straight men deserve nice hair. Mm. Go on. I, I said what I said. No, I also kind of feel that way about <laughs> like long eyelashes. I, I need, I wish I had, Yeah. I have I got a, like I got a my, great lash extension. My, I have dopey eyes. They like drip down my face like this. So everyone's mm. like, "Are you tired? Are you high?" I'm like, "This is just how I look." <laughs> <laughs> nope, just here. Yeah, I'm like I'm getting Botox to combat it, but my eyes are still just like when people do caricatures of me. My eyes are like sliding off. Oh my, face. my god! I just did a video where I hired twelve different artists. I saw that to do characters of me. Oh, and the the ones that were like very, you know, the ones where you go to the fair and you're like, "Oh, they're gonna insult me." <laughs> I'm insecure about whole new things now because I was like, "Oh, that's the feature that stood out on my." I I used to draw caricatures for a, uh, a while. This is before or after the gay. This is before. <laughs> okay, got it. This yeah. is before. Okay. The, this okay. was a side job when I was 16. So <laughs> okay. I was working at Michael's Arts and Crafts. Oh I my God. I got fired God. for stealing. And <laughs> was it something good? What was it? Um, well, I was a Winnie the Pooh cake pan that I didn't even need. Uh, but I was also okay. dating a girl there named Francesca. I broke up with her in the yarn section. She was cheating on me with her ex-boyfriend. That is iconic. Bitch. That is like my favorite, just like string of sentences. I stole, I stole the Winnie the Pooh cake pan that I didn't need. And then my Francesca broke up with me in the yarn section. I called her to the, I was like, Francesca to the yarn section, please. She's <laughs> like, what is it? I'm like, this isn't gonna work, you know. But, yeah, but I would do caricatures. And when, when I do caricatures, I would make sure to highlight 
Because sometimes it's shockingly the people that want their character done usually already look like a caricature. So right, you're like, right, oh right. God. So, you know, when you get somebody, especially like with a girl, like if they're like 16, 17, like highlight their best features, their oh. hair, their eyelash. Oh, like, see, you're doing, the best you're part. out there doing the Lord's work. Yeah, because some people, it's tough. The caricatures are, it's just a hard gig. Have, that was you, a hard have you seen that one guy on TikTok? He is, I can't actually, I'm not sure if it's a he or she, but they are um, in Oahu in Hawaii. And you go knowing you find this specific artist because they're going to roast the absolute shit out of you. And they make you so ugly. Again, they'll pick your worst fe feature and make it just like 90% of your face. And they've gotten famous from doing this. And it's people I would seek love them that. out. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, that would be go? fabulous. Yeah, we should go. I just want to go to Hawaii in general. I need a vacation, so. Okay, what's harder, car caricatures or uh, gay cabaret singing in strip clubs? <laughs> caricatures. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's hard work. It's a lot of pressure, and you have to, like, reveal. I mean, it's a whole... Oh, yeah, yeah. the reveal. Mm -hmm. The reveal, that's a big deal. Oh, I forget, yeah. it's like a secret until Yeah, you and then see you turn it. it around. And you have yeah. to tell them, don't move. Like, don't... Because, mm. you know, they're usually drunk. It's like at a bowling party, and they're like, John! You know, and I'm like, wait, can you not move your lip? You know, at a bowling party. Wait, that's, that sounds like my dream 16th birthday party. Actually, maybe a little bit younger, but bowling party with a character artist? That's a flex. Okay, so- Rich parents. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my parents, not rich. So um, <laughs> there I was drawing caricatures. Ar Arlington Heights isn't one of the most affluent of suburbs in the Chicago area, but it's certainly better than Rockford. <laughs> Anything with Heights to me sounds like- Posh. Well, they did that in Chicago for the suburbs because they were trying to make it sound glamorous. It's like Rolling Meadows, yeah. Arlington yeah. Heights. Yeah, those like, all sound very posh. Mm -hmm. As like someone who's not from that area whatsoever. Yeah, like get the fuck out of the city. It's too it's too right, crowded. Too Go dense. to the suburbs. Yeah. You're going to love it. Go. Like Go. Naperville. It's going to be wonderful. Yes, Naperville. Don't, don't forget about Aurora on the way. Yeah. Those, those all sound beautiful. The, some well, of them are. Some, I think Naperville <laughs> is supposed to be nice. That's more affluent. Glencoe. Glencoe is beautiful. Glencoe, of course. Yeah. Uh, that's about it. Yeah. So I posted a headless photo okay. of you on Instagram, <laughs> on the Wild Soul Night Instagram, being like, we've got an, a, like a super expert relationship not advice giver. Oh, okay. I, I didn't tag you because it was a okay. secret. Oh, great. Because what I was like, did you use? we blocked you. Oh, wait, I picked, <laughs> <laughs> I I picked a that. really, really good picture. Um, and so I cropped it so that you couldn't see your head. And I was like, we've got an expert relationship advice giver coming today. So like submit your questions. And it was so interesting seeing people guess based on your body being headless, who we were having on the podcast. We got- Wait, hold on. Who do you get most often confused with? No, Susan Boyle. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, big Susan Boyle fan, okay. almost bought her CD. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My cousin went ahead and bought all of them. So it's, it's like, we've got you beat. Okay. Well, no, because it wasn't it wasn't a look like because they couldn't they had nothing to compare because there was no face. Right. Okay. Sean Mendez was number one, really? which I think is actually a little offensive because you're way more jacked than Sean Mendez. Um, I'll, he is much hotter though. He's got a much prettier face. If, than if me. anybody wants to confuse me with Sean fucking Mendez, <laughs> be my guest. What is Sean? I don't know any. What is he doing lately? He was I dating what's her saw, face, and they broke up. And now he's he's dating. I randomly saw this on Just Jared Jr. Obviously, the breaking late <laughs> news. He's dating some doctor. Great for him. In my mind, he's still 16. I know he's not, but in my mind, he's still so young. How old is he? Like 22? Shoshana? Four? I think. Uh, how old is how, how old, how old, how old <laughs> Sean Mendes? So Sean Mendes was one of your body dupes that people were like, oh my God, are you having Sean Mendes on the podcast? Oh, they're going to be so disappointed. And can we get a shirtless picture of Sean Mendes as well? <laughs> like, we don't he know is 24 the... years old. Okay, oh, 24. Okay. They're going to be like, we don't know who the fuck this is. Is this <laughs> Luigi? What is going on? This isn't Sean Mendes at all. <laughs> the other guest was. Someone from Queer Eye. That's all it was. Someone from Queer Eye. They're okay. closer. Okay. okay, closer, closer. And then number three was Chris Olsen. Chris Olsen. Also very close. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who also actually is probably about your same height and super jacked. He is. He. I think. It, I think we are the same height. I'm the last time I saw Chris was like before the pandemic. We were at a bar together, <laughs> and I saw him. And I, I, we must be the same height. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what we posted. Oh, this one. Oh, that's a cute picture. It's I like that picture pick. too. Yeah, it's a Daniel great Sung pick. Lee, great photographer. Everybody, love it. Love Daniel the Daniel Sung Lee, out. nice. Yeah, Bod looks great, and the outfit's great. So I'm sure they're like, okay, queer eye, like the fashion. I love it. Yeah, it was very like guinea, very like. Here's my like under t like my What's undershirt. Guinea? Like a derogatory term for Italians. Oh my god! Okay. Really? Oh my god! That's a new one. Yeah, I've never heard that before. Guinea wop, grease ball. Well, there you go. A couple okay, of those. The I got. second one I've heard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should I be saying this? I don't. We, we can block all this. Sorry, I just realized. No, no, no this is educational. 
Mm. It's educational. Is it educational? Purposes, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I'm, well, I'm I mean, learning. I'm Italian, Mexican, and Irish. So I have, you know, you would have hated you in, in Chicago. Like everything about you would hate the next neighborhood over of you. Yeah, well, you know. Chicago's like one of the most like white racist places I've ever been. Is it really? Yeah, it's, it's like, very segregated and it's it's actually quite jarring because going from Chicago to New York, I didn't realize how segregated it was until yeah. I leave it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Oh my God. That. No, it's like like there's a lot of white on white, but like, you know, for me I'm just like, why are you guys mad? Like what is it about it, the way you make pasta? Because this is else? rolling meadows, <laughs> exactly. not park slope. <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, I see like the whites are mad at the other whites. Right. Mm. Yeah, and like I'm an adopted kid that like doesn't really like family tree DNA. Now I'm like, okay, I have a general idea. Have you done like 23 and Me? Yeah, to see. Oh, what, what did? What, were you surprised? A variety Jewish. of whites. Very Jewish. Oh my oh, god, great. no, literally 4.6 percent. Oh, mazel. That's not a lot. I, not a lot at all. Is this <laughs> any anyone that's Jewish? Is mazel? I'm also Jewish. No, not all. No, <laughs> exactly. Uh, that I'm just like, if white could be a, a race, it would be me. It's like 76 percent. You're just a few, a few different breeds of white. Oh, 76% from like the UK area and then mm. 20% from Southern Europe and then the rest is- White. That. My mom's is interesting because she's mixed. So it's like half Italian and then it's like, cause she's Mexican and they're, I don't know the right word. I think indigenous to Mexico. They're okay, not, yeah. they're not like European, not Mexican. Yeah. Right. So she's like, um, they say Native American, but I'm sure that means like, whatever, like yeah, to, yeah, to the yeah, 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 And then there. it goes on to, it's like a million other things. One right. of them is Korean because oh. it's like, I, they, I think the theory is that people from the tip of Asia came through from Alaska down. Whoa. Yeah. And so like it traces that far back to be like, you know, obviously we're, I'm not like one of those white people's like, I'm part Korean, but <laughs> yeah. like, but it is fascinating to see like, oh my God, just my mom being half Mexican is yeah. like, it's wild. Like, it's it's crazy, the mix. Oh my God. Also, apparently like they're all gonna get better as more people take the tests. Cause right now it's like places that can afford oh, the yeah, tests. Yeah, yeah. It's really good and places that can't, it's like. Well, my grand, my Mexican grandpa who had, he had five kids with my grandma and then five kids with another woman at the wow. same time. <laughs> and individual. then named them all the same names so he didn't confuse them. No. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what was the name? That's a movie. Joaquin, two Joaquins, two Lisa. And somehow my grandma got my uncle Jack's name from Joaquin changing his birth certificate. To, I, look, that's an Italian thing. But, um. <laughs> Yeah, so, wow. they, so they like, dis she disassociated herself from him and his family. And then I never got to grow up like knowing any of my Mexican family. Right. But um, it's pretty obvious because some people in my family look really Mexican and some look not. It's right, crazy. So you can figure out where the division is in terms <laughs> yeah. of, of where, yeah, 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 who the mom is. Yeah, <laughs> but I have an, uh, now because my grandpa, of course, he kept having kids. I have an <laughs> uncle younger than me and I found out in 23 and me because it's like your first cousin. We found it through the genetics. I'm like, oh, this guy is my uncle, but- But my, is, yeah, the, the lineage. Yeah, born 94. Man, the amount yeah. of Facebook <laughs> yeah. messages that have gone out being like, hey, oh. so I just did 23 and me and I'm just reaching out because I think that maybe you might be my uncle. I took all like, my contact info off. I'm like, I, I don't want to know. You guys should not be contacting me. Yeah, it's yeah. wild. I can you imagine- Family this? secrets are being un, unsecreted. But the just degenerate scum that I probably come from. Just like, you know what? You guys can stay where you are. That's offensive to your lineage. So you also do <laughs> YouTube and- Yes, I just started yeah, like nine I know, months ago. You're a YouTuber. And I know. The link is gonna be below and you're gonna I get 20,000 new subscribers. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. I, it's me cooking pasta and making fun of locations. I'm kidding. You're gonna get probably 200, no, but they're gonna 200, be quality. Great. Yeah, quality. Quality, quality, quality 200. <laughs> Welcome. Quality Wait, so you 200. Cook? Yeah, I cook. It's all pasta. It's all pasta. Oh. So is this a good time to tell you? And I feel like- if we're gonna be friends, you need to know this about me. I love fake Parmesan cheese. Oh, this the, is the shit in the box, the shit oh. in the little, the little plastic container. No, <laughs> you like sawdust on top of your pasta. I love sawdust. Oh no! But listen, I can appreciate the real stuff too. Have you been to Italy? No. Oh, so you've never even had pasta. So I've never even had pasta. I've had oh, overcooked I noodles. Uh, oh no. Okay. <laughs> When are you coming to New York next? I do my best to avoid New York, I'm gonna be honest. But if it's if it's in the name of pasta, I'll if make an exception. If you come, I will make a whole night <gasps> at my favorite restaurant, <gasps> or I'll cook for you. Oh my or God. we can do both. I was gonna say, I'm what? leaving you. <laughs> Did you see what he said? I'll cook for you? I get it. I yeah. will. I, I mean, I'll disappoint you with the sex, but <laughs> I, <laughs> you know, but that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Ask Francesca, I've got her on speed dial. But, um, but I would love to show you like real, real pasta. pasta. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Um, How do you feel about like- um, like I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Italy? 
We, we lost, were, it was going so we well. Were, we were getting a snack before you got here and I opened the freezer and I was like, oh, we shouldn't tell them we have a frozen lasagna in here, right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> We just started cooking again. We just what started. What is we? We mean I. Okay, right. so what are right. you? What are you cooking? And I listen, and we are not now much. engaged. So you're now cooking. Yeah. So we're eating. Not, not much. Did you come from families that cook? Because usually, when family, like my mother, taught me and my brother yeah. and sister how to cook as children. It was like how we made dinner with her every night. She'd line us up. We would That's make it so like cute. That's cute. Oh, she made it like a really fun, enjoyable experience. And so growing up, I was always. I always had good feelings towards the kitchen cooking. and cooking because yeah. it brought back all those memories. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's also things too, like you think about like my mom's making red sauce on Sunday. I'm like, okay, there's something, there's there's so much history. It, just the fact that like she's making something and moving her hands the same way her mother did That's and her mother so did and her mother wholesome. did. Yeah, she taught us we make the pizza dough and then you have to watch it rise and it was exciting and that, you know, and now my sister, who's like an unbelievable, she like makes homemade butter and bread and she's like an unbelievable cook. Oh my God. Cook. How do you have she, time? I don't know. And she's got a kid too. I'm like, I barely have time. I'm, I couldn't trust me with a plant. But you know, it's like, <laughs> but, but but that, so, so I usually, but I, what I'm trying to ask is like, do you... <laughs> Come from a family that cooks a lot and, yes, and taught yeah. you to cook. Really? Yeah, my so mom's just- a, my mom's a great cook, but she was a super busy working mom. So yeah. we were like a household of like. She also is like a super fit little Asian lady who like used to run marathons. So like we would always have kind of the healthy alternative things, but also things that could be cooked quickly, which is kind of I feel like what I aspire to do now, but just not that well. Wait, sure. Right. Will you just pull up um, uh, Lauren's mom's Instagram and the picture of her like after Actually, a marathon no. flexing? Go to, go to oh yeah, there's a good one there. No, no. Actually, no, go to my dad's Instagram, dad, DIY one. And there's a picture of my mom's abs. She's like a washboard. Oh my God. I want to like meet your mom. I know. She's just a little Asian. Are you born and raised in Los Angeles? No, no, no. I'm Canadian. Oh, you're, where in Canada? Um, between Niagara Falls and Toronto. Oh, I was just in Toronto. Oh, really? Yeah. I was just doing shows there. Oh my God. Fun. It was so fun. Two T's Toronto. Yeah, no, you got to lose the second T. No, no, no. We're straight guys to Toronto. Toronto. How are you supposed to say it? Toronto. Toronto? Mm-hmm. No, le- no second T. <laughs> I feel like I'm being tricked. No, no, I swear to God. No, I, I swear to I God. I really? dropping that second T and people were yeah. looking at me like I had. Oh, oh my yeah, God, there's... your mom is so beautiful. <laughs> She's so ripped. <laughs> she better work. She seems like a good time. That's mom DIY. <laughs> She, lo- I mean, she would Mom love DIY watching can, yeah. your process, cooking anything that's like beyond like what it, she loves new information. This woman she can also put it? down food. Oh, yeah, oh no, 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 no. she can eat. Oh, then I we gotta hang out with she her. She'll yeah, eat and yeah, drink no, you, you love under DIY. the table for sure. For no, sure. Right. She's like ripped, but also like loves to eat. I love her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's Good great. Time. And she's not proud of my cooking skills. You know what it, What happened is that- That's the most like salesman way of saying how she feels about your cooking skills. What? Not proud of. Oh yeah, she's really not proud of it. It's not, it's not great. The one thing that we can both do though is eat the same meal over and over again. So like we've perfected a few things okay. that go okay. So All right. steak and lobster. Uh, okay. Together? Yeah. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. No. Well, okay. I'm sorry, are we being judged for steak <laughs> and lobster? <laughs> Surf and turf? I just together, like on top of each other? No, no steak next. and lobster. And then like and a, a, little, a, like a, a broccolini. broccolini. <laughs> <laughs> that was so embarrassing. <laughs> you guys are like that couple in Best in Show. It's like, we met at the Starbucks. I was at the Starbucks across the street. I was drinking soy lattes then. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. We were on Hinge at the same time. <laughs> I fuck Hinge. I hate Hinge. Really? I, I don't give that sponsoring. I'm sorry. But they're not. The, no, first no, of all, they kicked not. me off Tinder because they said I was catfishing as Mateo Lane. And I they said that. you're banned forever. That. And then I tried forever? doing Hinge forever. They're like, you are forever banned. I was like, what? A, grow up. You're Tinder. Let's not, you're scraping the, well, that uh, yeah, that's scraping bottom of the, the bottom of the that barrel. That is the bottom of the barrel. So, and then I was like, all right, I'll try Hinge. But then I didn't like Hinge because it was like, show a video of yourself and this yeah. and that. I'm like, I, look, this is too gay for me. <laughs> so, and I wasn't like matching with anybody. I hated Hinge. And so then I'm on Raya, which you're not supposed no, to say that. No, I know. And they show you like four people a day and they're in Brussels. And, and I'm they like, they don't well, live anywhere near you. Yeah. You know what though? You, the, the way that you're yeah. traveling and seeing guys though, maybe Raya is for you. No, because it's not, I'm, look, I'm traveling to like San Antonio. They're like showing me who's in Sydney. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do here. So I, I basically, I don't know, I don't know how to date anymore. I'm like, I I just use like Instagram, like his pictures are cute, <laughs> but then they live in like Brazil. So I'm like, I'm not supposed to be on Raya. <laughs> so so you're just sliding into DMs then? Yeah, there's a lot of slide. I'm a homosexual. Oh. There's a lot of sliding into DMs. Okay. Yeah. Now, is there any correlation between topping yes. and bottoming and DMing? I'm kidding. Um, 
Like, what do you mean? Like, no, I don't think so. Just, okay. It's like, a, it's like a, who thinks you're like, you're hot. You'll like, like their photos. They'll like mm -hmm. back. You follow, you say like a, Hey, and then you DM. Hey. And, and then, then you DM. Uh, wow. You, know you want to know what this one said to me when she was like, oh, no, sliding so into my DMs? I can't this is coming up again. We've talked about this. This so is my fiance. The one that I do have sex with. Um, go ahead. No, that's okay. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. It was it was just okay. dripping in sexuality. I just, I dripping. just, I wanna, I wanna just preface. I'd been in a very long term relationship. I had just come out of it, and I was ready to be a hoe. And again, I don't know where the disconnect between being a hoe and this terrible pickup line was. But we had known each other from work previously. I saw him on Hinge, and I had him with a very sexy, hey friend. And just to be clear, this was after she found out that I was not gay. <laughs> <laughs> hey friends. I mean, I would assume that's how you would slide into his hey, hinge. Hey friends. <laughs> Hey, I don't know how straight people do things, y'all. It's like the, there's a disconnect. It's not good. It's not good. That's, yeah. yeah, no, no. Well, Ashley and Raina roasted the fuck out of me. Oh, yeah. The girls got to eat. roasted me. Really? Loved that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was not good. It's not gays good. Are, gays are a little more direct, I think. Yeah, that was, I could have done, I could have done better in about 14 different pickup lines. I'm not, I'm not mad at Hey Friend. I think that's kind of cute. Thank you so much. We, our last podcast guest, podcast guest said it was okay, too. I, yeah, I'm not, I'm really not mad at Thank that. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Because that. then I can write back, be like, friend for now. <laughs> See, that's good. Oh, that you was should, good. Yeah, you should have said that. I should have. I gave you the opportunity for a really nice line. Well, and you here it. we are. Swing and a miss. I guess <laughs> swing and a hit, but. Fuck? <laughs> yeah. hey. um, okay, what about us? Um, I have so many questions. Where do you want to start? So you're in the YouTube space now. What do you think? Uh, um, I actually, so I, all I do is watch YouTube. Um, I Gabby love it. Bell is one of my favorites to watch. I don't know if you know her, but oh. she's, oh my God, she does like the best video essays. Like I'm, I'm going to meet her. She lives in Florida. So I'm going to meet her. Video essays. Do, what does that mean? Like, you know, like she'll be like, Hey everyone, like, like let's talk about why like the blue check on Twitter sucks. And then she'll do like 15 minutes, like, oh, and give okay, you, like yeah, the history yeah. and explain it to you and stuff. And she just did one on ancient aliens. And I was like, Oh my God, if you ever do one on ghost adventures, please. I want to be, I'm obsessed with ghost shows they're so embarrassing <laughs> you know you've got to go on sam and sam and colby's show yeah you have to you have to meet sam and colby they do like oh i think people kept tagging me at them yeah. I, did a, I did a ghost adventures bit and then they were being ta i was like they were oh if you're talking yeah. about ghosts on youtube sam and colby are going to be they will take be you do they on the like most... ghost hunting shows or not like do they believe in ghosts or no oh yeah no no but they go to the places they will take you to the places and make you do the hunting okay that's humiliating first of all I don't believe in ghosts. Uh, yeah, I, but they go back and oh, forth too. Yeah, they go back and forth. They've experienced some like weird shit. I mean, they dragged me and- um, have you I, bet I would go with them in a heartbeat, by the way. If you're <laughs> listening, I'll show up. <laughs> Just <laughs> tell me where never, and when. I'd be embarrassed, but if they want if they want me to come. No, oh. it's fun. It's fun. You, you, you should go. I just you can't go. imagine walking through like a building at night being like, where are you? Like that's all- <laughs> Ghost Adventures I is just straight men walking into a abandoned building. <laughs> like, what What do you want from me? <laughs> Zach Bag or Baggins from uh, Ghost Adventures. 22 seasons, they haven't found a single ghost. And it's like- And it keeps getting this, renewed. It keeps getting renewed. It keeps getting renewed. Because you're keeping them going. <laughs> but it's me, I watch them all the time. I watched every episode and season. I'm obsessed with that show. Oh my God, but like, as soon as you're in somewhere that feels even a little bit creepy, like a fucking spider crawling by, you're like, oh, oh. my god, demonic, demonic. And then there's people here. There's there's a it's piece of death. Look, if you're Italian or you're Mexican or Latino, you get it. People already talk to dead people in your family. Mm, so right. I already yes. have an aunt yes. that talks to dead people. Right. I've right. been I've covered. You <laughs> know. I mean, it is fun to think about, but like, it's too like as a comedian. Like, if they brought me with them, they would hate me. I would be making jokes about everything. I think that would I be think, the funniest no, I think, piece yeah, of yeah. content. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna ever. we're gonna make this happen. It's yeah. gonna be oh, great. I would do it in a heartbeat. But you, you have to understand, like, oh, I have to bring my friend Evan Williams. He's like a famous TikToker and does impressions and stuff. But we do this like series called Ghost Idiots together, <laughs> and we do exactly that. We walk in house like this machine allows us to communicate with ghosts. Like, it's just so. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> the impressions that you have are unlimited. My name is it's Zach. I'm a demonologist. <laughs> <laughs> but like somewhere out there, that exists. <laughs> yeah, that that's a real like, person. He's like, yeah. yes, he's a real person. That's a real person. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? Also, every time you come out of like a pitch that someone doesn't buy, I, all I would think of is, but you renewed the Ghost Hunters yes. for twenty third season. Yeah. They make money. He's oh, yeah. a smart guy. They make yeah. a ton of money. I've talked so much shit about him on late night. <laughs> uh, it's like everything, and like I've heard nothing. So I'm like, okay, he must be aware that I exist He's because I, I'm like gunning for him, but like in a way that I love him. Yeah, that's yeah. This is a this is like love love slander. Yes, I would say. Love but all slander. that to say, YouTube's great. <laughs> 
So video essays. I've yeah, never, yes, I'd I've never heard up. anyone call it a video I love essay. Watching, I love that. I like watching like interviews with like, I've been on a Carrie Fisher interview kick. Like I'm okay. watching every interview she's ever done. Okay. Um, I watch a lot of like video game news. Okay, um, let's unpack this. Okay. Video game news. Why? Wait, what does that mean? What do you mean why? Wait, video game news as in like about game releases or like streamer drama? Uh, game releases. Okay, uh, okay. The streamer drama, who gives a shit oh, about that? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, that's what I was, I was yeah. like. Yeah. These kids, yeah. how could you care about their like, drama? They can play games too. <laughs> no, to me it was like, <laughs> We why? only play games actually. <laughs> 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 that. I was like, the, the idea of just like getting into like the gamer drama, I can't, it doesn't make sense to no, me. No, none of that interests me. I'm, I play Fortnite every single yeah. night, the gay version of Call of Duty, and um, <laughs> you build and decorate at the same time. And, uh, oh my God, yeah, I never even thought about that. Yeah, you're literally yeah. in the mid-battle. You're like, we need a bay window. I'm like, yeah. this is weird. But um, <laughs> how would I never put those two together? <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. So, but I, that it's it's more of like a hang. I play with my friends uh -huh. and um and, and half are gay, half are straight. And we I during the pandemic, that's how I made money. I streamed all day. Oh my god! And played Fortnite all day. And, and let me tell you something. I had the best time of my life. That is not a bad way to make a paycheck. No, I mean it was only like what six hundred bucks a month, but it's like at the time that's more than anything I had. Yeah. 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 I could buy groceries with that, and so, you know, but. Yeah, but I love video games. So like Fortnite news updates, like map updates, like when the next season's coming. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, to me. Camp in Russia, I love you. Um, happy hour, hey. I don't know oh, what you're YouTubers. saying. Right now. Yeah, <laughs> but they're all like Camp in Russia is like, what's going on, guys? Camp in Russia here. Okay, so here's what's gonna be the Fortnite news, and it's like <laughs> they're just so. And I listen to it so intently, like I'm so. Mm -hmm. What oh gamer God. do we need to have on the podcast? Um, a gamer you need to have on the podcast, me, um, <laughs> besides you, I don't know. I mean, I can think of like the ones that I know are like Cypher PK and Ninja, like all like the Fortnite Ninja, guys, yeah, but yeah. That's, I, I just know the Fortnite guys. I got you. So I feel like we're just now getting like comfortable with comedians. If that makes any sense. I feel like for the longest Our time we're like- can be intimidating, I feel, maybe. I don't know. Like, Well, I feel like because like YouTube is, I don't want to say YouTube's newer, but like, I feel like comedians have more respect than YouTubers because it just feels like a more like legit and longer standing it's, yeah, profession. It's been around since like the 40s or yeah, whatever. You know, totally. 50s, yeah, totally. And so I feel like I was always scared to reach out to comedians to be like, hey, when you want to come on our little show? <laughs> no, comedians love being, I mean, this is like great for comics because it's like we can sit and chat and yeah, be funny and interact. Yeah, and be funny, with, yeah. exactly, mm -hmm. I know. But, but also like, it's, I think it's just because like we're intimidated that they're on their game all the time and have something funny to say about dumb shit. And we're like, right. we're like we know what we know. <laughs> I mean, I will say, like, we are almost, like, trained, like... <laughs> Observationists? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. People say things, like, especially in public. Like, if someone tries to fight in public, like, especially in New York, I'm like, I already have 50 things lined up. Yeah, right. just so like, literally. <laughs> what? Like, this is literally my job. You know, we're good arguers. We're good, yeah. I can't even... Um, so he is a salesperson. And so when we first started dating, this was literally about our last episode, too. We talked about, like, conflict styles and, like, communication resolution. And fighting with a salesperson is on another fucking level of infuriating. Like it, there's just like so many techniques that he would secretly weave in to like lead me and manipulate me into, <laughs> into getting what he wants. Whoa, that's, a, that's a big <laughs> word we just dropped. <laughs> then you never want to fight with a comic. I, I know, because well, next forced, I'm like, yeah, what's it like? Well, we are, we observe everything from almost every angle. Yeah. So like mm. even in the middle, it's just, that's the best part though, is sitting with comics at the cellar. Like I'll be with Keith Robinson and mm. like it's comics. <sighs> sparring we're like arguing over dumb things just to make each other laugh saying the most hurtful things you can <laughs> to one another awful terrible things and then you're like oh i love this person i fell in love with keith on was it amy schumer's podcast forever yeah. ago yeah. Oh, yeah that was like the first podcast i feel like that was the first comedy podcast that i was I, like he's the best he's this is truly funny. the best and like all they do is of course roast him all day and mm -hmm. like it's hilarious but just like listening to the way that he like would like take the perspective of like the speck of dust in the room to like <laughs> like this ridiculous scene i was like there's an art to this. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Keith, if I walk into the cellar and like on a Friday night, I'm going to be there all night. If I see Keith there, I'm in heaven. Yeah. Oh, I oh park right next to him. Okay. Who, if you, okay. For people who don't watch a bunch of comedy, mm. but find it obviously funny. Who's a, who's a good starter comedian after they've followed you? Um, yeah, me. <laughs> um, well, it, it just depends. I think the funniest comic I've ever seen is Yamanika Saunders. She's a comedian in New York City. Okay. Jessica Kirsten. Okay. Uh, Lisa Traeger. Okay. We're writing um, these down. Yep. I yep. want to say Ethan Simmons Patterson, but he doesn't have a fucking Instagram, TikTok, or you, like he, not, he just exists like 
I like, mean, but like strive to be so successful that you don't need any of those platforms. Oh my God. I know, God. but it's annoying. It's, I feel like he yeah. thinks he's on Little House on the Prairie. Right. I'm like, you know, we need, I want to show people oh your God, stuff. Love, love those books. Joel Kim Booster is super funny. I mean, it just depends on like what, like the kind of thing, you know, you're into what vibe you're into with yeah. stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Those names, I'll be busy till next month. Uh, no, literally, those are so. I feel like I'm just starting to get into like the comedy space. So I found you through TikTok because of the um, cheeseburger. No, wait, do it. Say it. Say how you say it. Uh, like, je voudrais un oh, cheeseburger, cheeseburger avec seulement du fromage. <laughs> and when yes. I DM'd you, I was like, I want a cheeseburger with only cheese. That's, oh, don't, it's the look. The bane of my existence is trying to order a cheeseburger from a waiter. There is no, first of all, you say no pickles, eight pickles will show up on your plate. And then all your friends make fun of you. They're like, what are you, a seven year old? I'm like, you yes. eat ass, shut the fuck up. Let me have this goddamn burger. Oh, yes. Then you hear the chef to the waiter to everyone is talking about this burger. You talk, I just want cheese, just cheese. And then they then they do this like review with you as if like somehow I forgot another yeah, ingredient. Like, so no ketchup, so right. no onions, so no pickles. And, I'm like, and the more ingredients, cheese. the more humiliated I yes, am. I'm yes, like, yes. I get it. Like, I'm just so, yeah. And then they go oh to the chef. my God, yes. He just wants cheese, just cheese. <laughs> and I'm like, God. <laughs> then it comes and it always looks so sad. Oh, know, yeah. It's just, it's it's just, just <laughs> meat and cheese. I did this at Whole Foods literally two days ago where I wanted on a pretzel bun just ham and cheese. And there's obviously a bunch of other shit on it. And I was like, can I get this one? with just the meat and the cheese. The and they're guy? like, they're like, just the meat and the cheese. They're like, so no mustard. And I was like, no. So like no sauerkraut, no, no this. And I'm like, just the meat and the fucking cheese, please. please. I'm literally making your job so much easier. You can put three less oh, ingredients they get mad on at it. You. They get mad. They, they get, get mad. mad. And it's like, and, and I've even like, I've tried to rehearse it any way I possibly can. <laughs> like I have a script, like an Academy Award winning <laughs> script ready to go. They'll be like, so uh, what would you like? Hello, how are you? I would like a cheeseburger with just cheese. That's right. No lettuce, onion, pickle tomato, no uh -huh. sauces, just bun, cheese, and meat, please. I know it's boring. I'm self-deprecating, so you don't ask follow-up questions. And then they'll still say, just cheese. So just like, cheese. That's what that speech was about. Like, there's, oh, please. Oh, infuriating. No, no, I feel this on the deepest level. I feel so good, though. We're back on track from sawdust on pasta to plain cheeseburgers. Hey, davvero. Yeah. Si. Um, yeah, I think I just got insulted. We have to get. No, I said true. I'm like, like, <laughs> really? Yeah, you have to not. We have to get you some good. I'm gonna send you a package from Italy of like Ooh, okay, good some, cheeses. Yeah. Okay, okay, and also like Parmesan cheese. Like the oh, I'm gonna really nerd out here. I love this. No, so go ahead. There's so they there's a whole battle between Parmesan and Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. So oh. Parmigiano Reggiano literally means Parmesan region. It's from a place in Italy, a specific like town in Italy. So this is like a champagne thing. Yes, because okay. to be considered Parmesan cheese, it's it's from a bacteria found in a certain soil that when it's processed through the cows, that milk creates the Parmesan <sighs> cheese. But it's expensive and it takes a long time to make. So other companies started making their version of Parmesan cheese. Right. And then it's like a billion dollar industry of this like thing. So now they say like you, it, you cannot say you're Parmesan uh, pardon me, you cannot say Parmigiano Reggiano. You yeah. have to say, if you see something that just says in English Parmesan cheese, it's not the real thing. It has to be stamped from Italy. Say Parmigiano oh. Reggiano, the stamp from Italy. This is so like the cheap where do champagne you think, you drink. Where do you think the craft Parmesan is from that comes in yeah. the plastic container? Good question. Um, the depths of hell. <laughs> One of my favorite, like, just like one of my staples is probably very poorly cooked penne noodles with salted butter and not fake cheese. That's not, I, I don't, I stand by that. Butter nudes. Mm -hmm. This podcast butter is sponsored nudes. by Kraft. Oh my God. I love butter noodles. Do you? Oh, I love it. Oh my God. When Lauren sees butter noodles on a menu, when we're out at a restaurant that serves so many good things. Or even, even if it's not on the menu, I'll just be like, can, is there a way to just get noodles with butter and cheese? Can and you, I feel like a six year old and, and you, should, you would like cacio e pepe. I, you have, you I don't have love, that? I don't love pepper. There's pepper in that one, right? Oh, you don't like pepper? I don't love pepper. <laughs> no. Just you like, would like the real fettuccine the, the Alfredo real from Italy, from Rome at a okay. place called Alla Scrofa. So don't even get started with me Italians. Google it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not with cream and garlic, okay? Oh. It's literally butter, uh -huh. parmigiano reggiano, okay. and that's it. Oh, that sounds delicious. That was made for me. That was and made. fettuccine yeah. noodles. I just went there because I had a whole, whole, whole battle with them online. And then they brought me to their <laughs> restaurant in Italy. Wait, that's so cute. Yeah. I made a joke where I was like, fettuccine noodles is not real. And then all these Italians online were like, grazie Matteo. And then this place called Alla Scrofa started messaging me like, we are real. And then I was going to Rome the next week. So I messaged them like, can I come do a video with you guys? And they were so nice. There we go. With me and Francesco Di Carlo. 
Mm -hmm. Francesco? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. This is us. They, you, you, they brought us in this guy named Tommaso, who's the son. Oh, thank God I got my hair transplants. That's all I can think about. That's great. <laughs> all of our friends are the same. And they're like, oh God, a pre, pre transplant. <laughs> but yeah, you would like that. You would like that. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm we have so, so much excited. to do. And we have so much to do. I have a list. If you ever go to Rome, I have a whole list of where you should eat, what you should eat, like the whole thing. Favorite, favorite city in Italy. If Rome. you had to pick one. Rome. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I needed this list because Rome was my least favorite when I went. Oh. You probably did the Times Square of Rome. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, I got a Coliseum t-shirt, which is what you do, right? Yeah, you did the wrong thing. <laughs> no, I, I love Florence because it was like like old shit and nice people. Yeah, I like Florence. That was a lie. It's, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I, like it. I like Florence was great. Um, Venice, I'm, I'm, I'd never need to go back I've to. I've never been to Venice. Well, I feel, it was sinking, now it's dry. The canals are dried up. I just saw a picture the other day. Get it together, I'm not well, sure. They should be fine then. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be fine. Milan was fun. Mm. Only because I think the drugs were good there. And then <laughs> uh, Rome, the drugs were okay there too. You never went south of Rome? No. Oh, then no. You've, you missed out on the intense part of Italy. Napoli, intense. Bari, Calabria, Sicilia. Okay, these are the places that like so, Americans okay, don't even like, like, can exist. Can we go and have an excellent time if we don't speak the, speak the language. You're yes, going Italians to like the are remote. The, they're the nicest. Are they? They are so welcoming and nice and will do whatever they can. They go out of your way to make Aww. it like, so you're comfortable and having a good time, especially in Sicily. Like that's where I was going since I was a kid. Like yeah. it's the best. They're the nicest people on the face of the planet. Oh my God. They'll talk about us behind their back, probably. Like when, like, when we, like, we leave the restaurant, like those idiots, but like they'll probably be nice to us. No, that, what, what Italians usually do is if you don't know what to eat, they force you to eat what they want. Okay. So they say, we're going to show you how to eat and here's how you get it. Like I've had so many times in Italy, I'm like, I want this for dessert. And they go, no. <laughs> and then they just give me something else, you know? But it's, okay. it's nice because it's like, okay, then they're really proud of their, like, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, that's nice. That's very wholesome. And the, the train system, you can just get anywhere in Italy. <laughs> yeah, but they also try and cut you in line and it's infuriating. And I'm always yelling at like old Italian men. Well, you know, I would be okay with that because I wouldn't, I, I'm probably in the wrong line. That's true. Yeah. At what age did you learn each of these languages? Because I feel like when you start young, you can you can do that, but as you get older, it gets harder. So like at what age did you learn each language? I started learning Italian when I was like 15 or 16 going to oh, Italy. Oh my God, okay, so that's like pretty young or pretty um like teenager. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not like eight or nine. Yeah, you know, like we're like totally. It. But, um, but I have family who speaks it and I was like, I was interested in, but I, once you, I wasn't, you'd be in Sicily for a month mm -hmm. or two months. It's yeah. like, okay, no one speaks English. Right, so you so, have to. Yeah, you literally yeah. just come back. You're like, you leave, you're like, all right, bye, mom. You come back like, allora, mamma. Oggi che vorrei mangiare questo. Which is why I had like a Sicilian accent for a long time, like an American Sicilian accent. Then I, the first time I went to Northern Italy, it was so bizarre. There's like diff, there's like about, I think 40 different languages in Italy. Oh. What? Just yeah. like dialects of it. So they, they do. So they do call them dialects. However, um, language experts classify them as separate languages okay. because oh you can't communicate with each other in those languages. So oh, like, like Catalan to Spanish, right? Even more. Okay. So like, like, wow. like if someone from Naples in their their dialect, right, was talking to someone from Bari in their dialect, they can't. One hundred percent, they cannot communicate. No so way. So they have to speak the national language, Italian, in order to communicate with each other. How wildly inefficient, but also cool. Because Italy was like, it's like a newer country, really. Right. It was like small pieces of like the kingdom of Naples and Sicily. And Sicily was run by like Spain and the Arabs for a long time. So like, it really, like the history of it is so wild. And um, yeah, so it's interesting. Like when you go, like sometimes I have to ask, but like my uncle Calogero who passed, he would speak Sicilian and then my cousins would translate back into Italian for me. Cause I, oh. I can't understand him. So that's how different it is. It's not even close. Wow. Wow. Thank God. We barely speak English. But thank God everyone else knows that and is like, I'll just speak your language for you. I'm notorious for learning different, it's not an idiom. What's, or you know what? It's just lack of understanding of the English language where, okay, so my, my newest learn is error on the side of caution is E-R-R -R and not like air, like air in- E-R-R, -R, really? Yes. I didn't know that. I feel a little bit better. Although I don't say air on the side of caution usually, but I mean- Yeah, yeah. I would say air. Air, right? Yeah. Yeah, so anyways, I'm notorious. Once a week I learn a new thing. I obviously need to read more books. I mean, I'm the same. I should. I mean, I, I read books, but I read like John Waters books. Like I'm not reading, like I should be reading, like, I don't know, Toni Morrison or something. But, um, yeah, I don't know, but I'm the same way. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm very smart. And sometimes I'm like, I'm a fucking idiot. You know, no, I'm like, oh, I lost brain cells for sure in that moment. hundred, well, I do poppers. So I'm just every day <laughs> just like falling apart over here. 
Do you want to move in? I love you. Just, yeah. just hanging. <laughs> with the I'll Italian be, thing. Yeah. I can teach you about Parmesan cheese and poppers and, poppers. and anal. That's yeah. Perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is great. This okay. We're going to, this is a great segue. Another one of the things that I learned segue spelled S E G U E. Okay. I didn't, I would have said S E G W A Y. Right? Okay. okay. All right, okay. guys. You, this is you're great. Losing this me is here. great. Okay. Thank, thank God. Thank God. Um, so anyway, we call it sagu now because that's how that word looks to me is sagu. We're going <laughs> to sagu into a little game. Um, and we are going to be differentiating red flags versus uh, deal breakers. Okay. So I'll you be very good at this. Should be able to see them up here on your side. A great graphic. Oh, yeah. Great graphic. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> a red flag and a deal breaker. <laughs> So doesn't take his shirt off during sex. One and the same. This is not a pool and you're not in fourth grade and uncomfortable <laughs> with your butt. Take your goddamn shirt off. Take your shirt off. I feel like so I mean, a red flag is permissible. Like, you know, you, everything about, else about them is so good. Like, I'll, I'll let this one mm -hmm. slide. A deal breaker is we can It's a no. It's a no. Again, we're breaking it would, out. It would be weird. Have we ever had sex with your shirt on before? By like, Well, sometimes in a rush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's happened. Yeah, I'm sure. But yeah, I, I agree. That's a, that's like a, what the fuck? We've never had sh sex with your shirt on. I understand people being uncomfortable sometimes <laughs> or insecure, have. but like. Wait, when you're in, when you're like in like a public setting and you're like, kind of like just go to the side. Like remember that really trashy house party we went to? Yes. Yeah. We were somewhat close for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But that's, I'm, that's, that's like, different. That's, that's like different. different. That's different. Like, like you're first... not like intimate in your bed being like, I'm going to keep my t-shirt right. on. My Do you mind keep my cashmere turtleneck on <laughs> yeah. with my dick out? Not like, the excuse me. You look like a fucking X-rated Muppet. <laughs> also the dry cleaning bill on that. Think about it. And that's true. Yeah. Too. Semen on the schmear. Well, gay sex is messy. So. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's uh, a. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not for the faint of heart. <laughs> at least how I have sex. I don't know. We, I think we'll just give up monetization for this episode. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Ooh. Won't eat gluten. I mean, look, unless you literally have a gluten allergy, mm -hmm. it's a little bit of a red flag because it means like, okay, how much of a control freak is this person going to be? Like, are they going to be able to enjoy Ooh. anything in their life? Yeah. Like, you know, you can kind of judge when you're on a date with somebody, like their mm -hmm. eating habits and how they treat the waiter. Like, we're like, we're like, we're just, everything is going to be intensified by 10 if you're in a relationship with that person. Yeah. So if they're like, I can't have any gluten, I'm like, uh, are you allergic? No, but it's because of my diet and this and that. I'm like, well, I, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Eating is a love language for me, so. Ooh, Ooh totally agree. Meanwhile, totally agree. Lauren's the person who goes to a restaurant and they say, are you allergic to anything? And she is, and she'll go, no. Well, what are you allergic to? Almonds. Really? Yeah. But, okay, so. I'm allergic to shellfish, so it's. Oh. Ooh. Oh no. How like allergic, like can it be cooked in the same area? My ex and I had, well shellfish and something up because I'll, it's, I, I just don't have seafood in general after, since this happened, I uh -huh. was in Spain with my ex and um, we ordered grilled octopus and he was like, do you like octopus? And I don't, but I wanted to impress him. I was like, love. So, love language. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, octopus is great. I'm from Sicily. You know, so I <laughs> had octopus and it was immediately sent to the hospital and I had <gasps> blisters all over my body, like deep red purple blisters that were all over my body for a month. Oh my, did you see Hitch with Will Smith? What? Um, my, that's a, what? It's like a very straight movie. Yeah. He literally is a love doctor for straight people. Oh my God. So there's like an iconic yeah. scene in the movie Hitch where- Oh, he gets he, an allergic reaction? Yeah, shellfish. He doesn't realize, no, no, he think he, I think he just eats it by accident and he has like this insane allergic reaction and that's what I'm envisioning right now. Me. But is yeah. octopus shellfish? I didn't know that. No, I'm shellfish and other stuff. Like anything in the sea. But now I just hate the sea. So no, so salmon, I, it's all I, 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 ref I have to go get tested. I refuse anything <laughs> from the sea. Anything. Okay. It was such a horrible experience yeah. that I was like, I refuse. That's my, that's, Italians hold grudges. Mm. I refuse anything from the ocean. Oh, yeah, because sons fish, of bitches. Fish is a big. Fuck fish. Yeah, fuck, fuck fish. Fuck okay, fish. Okay, hold on. Fuck fish. Fish lives matter. Don't do this. Oh, I mean, if you want a pet fish, I'm down, but like, I'm no, just no, not pet eat them. Fish. no, not even the pet fish. <laughs> Kill no them. Pet fish. Kill them, don't eat them, waste them, I don't care. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. <laughs> okay, all right. We've got one and a half. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Job title is entrepreneur on Tinder. Well, you're yeah. already on Tinder, so we've discussed this is a red so flag. So that's a red flag. Um, and then adding entrepreneur on top of it, you should just say desperate. <laughs> Accepting offers. <laughs> what was the one, that, the one that I saw when I like first got on the dating apps last time I was single, everyone was- Consultant. A consultant. I was like, what the fuck are you 
consulting for? What are you all consulting on? I, I ask understand. people all the time. But people's job descriptions have become more abstract. It's yeah. like a Jackson Pollock painting. I'm <laughs> like, I ask people, I'm like, what do you do for work? I'm an assistant consulting editor for marketing. And you're like, huh? I'm sorry, what does that mean? Oh, there's no more milkman. Those days are over. Like, <laughs> yeah. there's no one who's just like, police like, officer, fireman, milkman. I'm a dentist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dentist. Right. The, like a straightforward job. Everyone's like, I'm consultant. Or, or the LA classic is like model, DJ, photographer, creator, influencer. I don't want any of those in my house. Writer, yeah. let alone all in one. Yeah, also writer, poet. Also, yeah, yeah, a poet. <laughs> there ain't <any> poetry. <laughs> That's enough. Is a terrible cook, but doesn't realize it and insists on cooking multiple times a week. I would never speak to that person again. <laughs> I, I feel that for you. Okay, I am I empathize a little bit though because they the the, the effort. but that they think that they're yeah. good. And yeah, you're then right. You're right. It's an attitude. Food. It's an attitude thing. You're right. so right. You're so right. Right. It's an attitude because yeah, that would that would that would definitely go over like into other things. Like this is just revealing why I'm so single. I'm so picky. Like <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm literally desperate and single. I'm like gluten allergy. Ah, what a monster. <laughs> <laughs> so, like BuzzFeed will turn this quiz and like his answers into how compatible you are with Mateo. Yeah, you're so I'm right. I'm compatible with the evil witch from Snow White. Like, I don't know who I'm compatible mm. with anymore. She has to have somebody in her life. I should have somebody. That gay mirror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, I, I heard your take on that and it, it changed the way that I like, I will think of Disney forever. Also, I never even thought about how Ursula is for sure a drag queen. Yeah, divine. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can't believe it. If you Google divine, it's literally Ursula. Oh my divine God. Divine the drag queen. Ugh. Oh, that, that's the kind of thing I'll say to my mother over, like when she's making me mad, I'll just be like, you know how like how gay Disney is, right? She'll be like, what? No, we would never be. Oh yeah, she, yeah. Only now. Would. Jafar, Scar. Yeah, yeah. Ursula, like, come on, they're all so gay. Yeah, Jafar for sure. Prince Abu Boo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, Mary. Oh, this is divine. There's oh divine. my God. They, I, <laughs> is she still performing? She passed away in, in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. I was gonna say, because when was Little Mermaid? That's a no. Yeah. Uh -huh. Late 80s. Yeah. But she was super, she was, you know, she, she, it was Jody funny. Benson, a Rockford native. You were very proud of Rockford. <laughs> I've never heard so much, so much Rockford. <laughs> it's pride. pride. Guys, we hit the one and only thing that's come out of Rockford that's doing well Jody uh, Benson. What do you mean? What about the iconic gay strip club of Rockford? He left I that there. I swear it was called like over the eight or like I I'm gonna or something. Find it. I'm going to Some, find it. Something. Don't you worry. Because maybe I should Google it right now because I, I remember. <laughs> and me singing Mariah, I would sing Mariah Carey's Forever. That was my go-to song. So like Ooh. while the drag queens are changing, I'm like, until forever. I was so gay. But <laughs> we'll just like look at like keep vamping. They're not ready yet. All right. Gay Strip Club Rockford. Bigfoot. No. The Office. Mm. Oh, the office. the office. That was it. It was the office. The, that's where it was. Is it was. still that open? Is, okay, yes, that is open. And it's what that's that's the only gay club that I've ever been to in Rockford. It's, they have a stage. Yes. And they had yeah. an upstairs that we changed in. Yes. I've never been upstairs before. They didn't let me up there. Yes, I remember. Here. Yes. <laughs> I, and I remember we had a drag queen with us and she kept saying like, I have a 50-50% chance of being on RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm like, well, <gasps> then so do I. <laughs> what does that mean? You have a 50-50% chance. Like, grow up. Yeah. I, I've seen Rocky uh, fix your... Horror, rock, what is it? Rocky Horror Show? Rocky Picture Horror? Rocky Horror Picture Show. Rocky, I've seen so that, that was a team at there at least 12 times at the office. I yeah. love that for you. Yeah. I saw I a don't picture like of you in drag. You look great. Mm. My friend Pixie Aventura was a drag queen, was doing a series where she put people in drag. She made me as, as Maria Callas. I loved the it. The opera singer. Yeah, they get the mustache. mustache. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Are you, are you a Drag Race fan? Uh, my best friends, two of my best friends are winners of Drag Race. <gasps> we all met before Drag Race, by the way. Go so ahead and name drop. Bob the Drag Queen and Monet Exchange. Oh my God. Like icons, absolute icons. But favorite drag queens are probably like, besides Bob Monet, that doesn't count because they're like mm. family to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, they're so fucking talented. Probably like the old school, like Miss Coco Peru and Lady Bunny. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, obviously, I love Bianca. Um, I love Bianca. Alaska. I oh, love Alaska. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But Bob, is, Bob and Monet, they're probably my, they're the funniest. The nine straight guys that watch the show were like, what? Oh, all my gay friends on Friday night when it like airs, they they text right after and like, oh my God, like, what do you think of the episode? I'm like, I live with a straight. I have to watch this on my own time. <laughs> Am I like a body of water? Yes, I live with a straight. Jesus. <laughs> And we have to watch straight things on Friday nights. Fuck me, huh? <laughs> What's a straight thing you watch on Friday night? Uh, Last of Us. Did you watch Physical 100 on Netflix? Mm -mm. 
I also never saw Last of Us. I just saw the last episode because this guy that I was sort of like, we're sort of in love, but not. It's like a complicated issue. Mm -hmm. Um, He wanted to watch it. So the whole time I'm like, that asshole was like, what's going on? Who's she? (laughs) Who's that? What the hell is happening? (laughs) <laughs> Last of Us is really good, but definitely is the, a straight show. Episode three is some of the best television that's- Isn't I that think- the one with Linda Ronstadt's long, long time? There was uh. an episode, no, there was, <laughs> because I'm a huge Linda Ronstadt fan. Okay. If anyone doesn't know who she is, she's amazing. She was a very famous singer in the 70s and 80s, right? I, that, that part I was with you on, it was the, it was, I didn't- it, So, um, uh, uh, na, 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 uh, uh, and and I done everything I know to try and make you mine. I'm I'm out on this one. No no no, I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, so all of a sudden I was I don't watch the show. So I'm on Instagram and everyone is posting about this song. I'm like, did Linda Ronsey have like a? Is this like are people discovering how great she is? <laughs> yeah, and then I realized it was from The Last of Us, and I was like, oh. Oh, okay. I don't know anything about what you're talking about, but that the like the tune of that would Makes sound. Me feel, this it could be a good soundtrack for episode three. Yeah, but I'm not yeah. gonna waste it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like spoil anything. No, because it's it's that good. Yeah, it's, it's that pretty, good. It's pretty good. One, whenever yeah. you get around to it. Anything with Linda Ronstadt's good. She also did a whole uh, Spanish album uh, honoring her Mexican heritage. Wow. And she did, she sang with mariachi and she dressed up like mariachi. Whoa. And it's like, it's this best selling non-English album in history, in American history. Wow. And it's like unbelievable. It's like Las Canzones del Mi, del mi Padre or something. I'm speaking Italian. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say you but, <laughs> but it's, uh, she's like an unbelievable singer. You should look up Linda Ronson, everyone. She's great. We but, have so much homework to do after this podcast. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm such it's, an uncle. Do you know oh, what I said? Have, we even have, a, we could talk divas. I have, yeah, we have, I have so much, I have so much dumb information to you. <laughs> We can't count to 10 no, in French. But I can't but count to 10 in French. But I can <laughs> tell you about La Canzones de Mi Padre in, <laughs> in three different languages. In three different languages. Okay, okay so where do, where do we land on this? Did we say red flag or did oh. we say it's a deal breaker? I Terrible would say cook. block him. Okay, block, block. Option three. Oh boy. Cause we will pussy on Call of Duty. I would date that person. <laughs> I get it. I stand by it. 100%. Green flag. 100%. Green yeah. flag. Where's my ring? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I get it. You fucking pussy. What, I get it. What if he calls you that? Great. Yeah. I'll okay. get wet. Yeah, okay. I was going to say that's foreplay. I love mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I would shit myself. Orders a glass of whole milk at dinner. I would literally shit myself. I would say, do you have a cat with you that I didn't see? (laughs) Why do you have milk? Our Midwest viewers are upset right now, but- I drank milk as a kid. Right. I drank milk as a kid because I was forced to. Yeah. Yeah. But are we gonna make, like everyone that's our age drank milk as a kid. Yeah. But are are we gonna care about that? I I feel like everyone that I know now is lactose intolerant. So I just don't feel like that, like- I'm the only one who's not lactose intolerant. That must be nice. He can eat anything too. Yeah. It's so infuriating. It's like it, I, Illinois I doesn't believe do in that. I still do eat everything. I just yeah. have the consequences afterwards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> doesn't stop me from living my life. <laughs> There's no lactose in the real Parmesan cheese. Okay, I just saw a big TikTok about this too, about all the cheeses that actually don't have lactose. Pecorino Romano, Parmigiano Reggiano. Mm-hmm. Where do we land? Where did Brie land on the lactose scale? <laughs> um, Brie just should be say parentheses diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you have lactose, just parentheses, like wear a diaper. <laughs> and her favorite cheese. <laughs> Brie is your favorite cheese? Yeah. It's good cheese, yeah. Yeah. My it's, favorite, what's my favorite cheese? Probably Parmesan is my favorite. Probably John Oh, so the, the, the second one, right? But the, wait, I, I love how you won't say the actual part. I'm not going to say that. Parmigiano. Parmigiano. Reggiano. Reggiano. I just fed to 19 Re- people at least. Reggiano. Reggiano. You Italians it's always, a, Spanish don't always roll their R's, but Italians always roll their R's. I don't think I realized how much R rolling overlap there is in French and Italian. Well, the French do the The yeah. So, je pense que je dois penser de parole de avec un. I think that I speak with a? No, I was like, I have to think of a word with an R. Je pense, is that a thing? Je dois avec un parole avec un. <laughs> but Italian is all, you know, it's like, <laughs> Buongiorno, che oggi ho parlato con mio ragazzo, lui mi ha detto che dobbiamo andare. <laughs> like, they, they love to. Whenever any, all of that is just giving me a Lizzie McGuire movie and I'm here for all of it. Uh, this is what dreams are made of. A bop. I had a whole, did you hear my story about I had a whole date in Italy that was exactly <gasps> that? No! On a Vespa, did you go to the fountain yes. and everything? So I, I was last summer in Italy, this guy named Giuseppe, of course, he's like, Matteo, I want to show you all of Roma. So I show up, there's a red Vespa, I get in the back, literally Lizzie McGuire, like, oh this is what dreams God. I'm made of. You know, I, it was amazing. You should have just called him Paolo for the whole, I the whole day. Paolo! Yeah. Oh. 
I, Jeremy's never seen the movie, but we do put the song on from time to time, and he kind of knows the words now that because I've just put the song. No, on so many I, like, times. it's it's catchy as fuck. Oh, I could great. call Giuseppe and see if we, you know, if he knows who Paolo is. <laughs> Find us. We're like, Paolo. Giuseppe, do you know Paolo. When we go to Italy, we'll oh, find him. We're we'll find Paolo. Paolo. We'll all get Vespas. Or they have like a four person Vespa. We could just all ride together. Or no, but in about- Sicily, they'll just pile on. I love oh. that. <laughs> I would love to be more like the little sidecars. Do they do that? That's adorable. I love like the most, dogs yeah, the in like dogs the 1960s, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with like the glasses, yeah, yeah. And like the little scarf yeah, and exactly. stuff. Exactly. That's that's all. I, that's I can see all you I like do. loving that. I, I I would like go to work. You like, can I come? I just live my little Italian best life with my Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh boy, declines freshly grated Parmigiano restaurant. Now this is not a red flag, <gasps> mm. or this is not because some meals do not. You like you would never put Parmesan on top of like seafood pasta. So there's certain things where you don't so, want yeah, you cheese. You super wouldn't ever do that. Why wouldn't you do that? It's just the rules. There's like a lot of rules okay. to pasta in Italy. Okay. Like you use this type of pasta with this type of sauce. Yeah. You okay. would never use a fresh pasta with carbonara. You know what I mean? You would never mm. use a dry pasta with et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What is, is pink sauce a real sauce? Yeah. <laughs> I okay. mean, they don't call it pink sauce, yeah. but like there's sauces like with a cream in it that's like more rose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like just, how, he got something like saying all that and you go, is pink sauce a real sauce? <laughs> <laughs> like a la norma is made with eggplant, but the eggplant makes it kind of like creamy looking. So it looks like a more like orangey. Like a pinky. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And, and is vodka sauce a real sauce? It is a real sauce. It was really popular in the 80s, but it does exist. It is a, it is of Italian origin, but it's now more famous in America. But it does exist. Because of basic bitches like me. I love vodka sauce. It's good. <laughs> I love that when he answers our questions, he goes, it is. it is so. We, it is. You could do that. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Not everyone will stop you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna continue on my path with butter noodles and. I, 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 I. We can go after this, and I'll make you some butter noodles, and you'll stop. <laughs> stop. I have some wildly mediocre. Um. Uh, what did I make last what time? What kind of pasta? Do you don't get like what? What kind of pasta do you buy? <laughs> is it whole wheat pasta or no, like no, spinach pasta? No, like no, you just get pasta, no, pasta, fuck pasta no, no, right? No. Like the, the chickpea pasta, none of that shit. Okay. No, no, right. no, 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 no. We're no. in LA though. No. You never know with you people. Yeah, no, LA I is a wild. You guys are wild. Yeah, here. I, I, mean, I fully understand. You can tell when like something hits TikTok and like everyone wants to try the chickpea pasta for oh, a month. Oh my god, yeah. You I, should follow the pasta queen on TikTok because ooh. she's from Italy and she actually shows you how to make pasta the right way. So follow the pasta queen, and she's amazing. She's like, today we are going to make. But you know, pesto, just gorgeous like <laughs> you are. And then she goes over the ingredients and she's like, we're going to take the pesto and the basil like the Roman gods and sprinkle with the angel <laughs> dust. Oh, I love this. She's like, That's like authentic. That feels authentic too. Should we watch, can we watch like a video of the yes. pasta yes, queen? Like yes, a quick, pasta ve- queen. like a- um, This is why Giada TikTok. retired. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Giada Di like, You know, I for a long time, I was like, Giada doesn't speak Italian. And then I saw her in this interview fully speaking Italian. I was like, I take everything back. This woman <laughs> is amazing. So sorry. I, please forgive me. I, forgive me, God. Giada slander. Um, I love Giada Di Laurentiis. And then- Look I, at her. Yeah, she's so great. We can watch the first one. It looks fun. Oh, she's doing it in Italian. Let me find one that's in English. Hold on. <laughs> We're like, yeah. I was like, wow, she is really authentic here. Okay. Um... This is my million dollar spaghetti bake. <gasps> Ingredients. I've been oh, seeing this I've go seen viral her before. all over social media. I haven't. And I've decided to make it spectacular for you. Today I'm sizzling pancetta with a oh. splash of wine, adding whole peeled tomatoes and wow. simmering it with white wine. This spaghetti cooks perfectly al dente. We combine the pasta and the sauce, coating each strand before nesting it into a baking pan. I'm stuffing with provolone cheese and a sprinkle of pecorino, creating little volcanoes of love, (gasps) just like you are. (laughs) (laughs) Did you see the wind blowing through her hair? She's in the wind. Please (laughs) virgin olive oil. Just gorgeous. Oh, that's stunning. Americans do nothing that, like, like, particularly. That passionate. Yeah. Yeah. Like, wow. We're just like a roundabout, like, uh, we do this. The way we've kind of just done it. Well, with cooking too, I mean, Italy, oh. you know, it's like, I follow her and we follow each other. You're big on the cooking content. Yes. Okay. Oh, and synesthesia. What were you guys talking about? I have synesthesia, but what were you, you just uh, were talking about this? We literally, <laughs> okay, define, define this. I always fuck this word up. Synesthesia. 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 <laughs> okay, so describe what it is. Uh, for me, I see color with numbers and letters and music. Yeah. That so every number so and letter wild. has, and, and days of the week and months, but every letter and number has a color to it and word. 
that okay. is it the same color for every time? Like so when you yeah, think of like the, the same number, since I was a kid. Wow, it's like what color is twelve? It's like a grayish red. Wow. It's dark and it's on my left side of my vision, but it's dark. Huh. Mm -hmm. And so is it kind of just like a blob of color or is it like a blur, like a the, gradient? The 12 is a lot more blurry because it's like, the, for some reason from 11 to 11 to 15, it's like, I don't know why it's so dark. So you're getting like a hint of color on the right side. Mm -hmm. So once you get to 19, it brightens up and like 20 is super bright. So 20 what? is like red. But like a red white because zero is white. So it's like a reddish white. And 24 would be the brightest because it's red and yellow. And then it starts to get darker again. Once you well, 29 is still bright, 27 is dark, 28 is pretty dark, but it's still red on the left side. Then 30s are my <laughs> greens. Have you ever so like graphed this out? No, I haven't. I I just see it in my <laughs> You should like, like go like open your iPad or whatever and like like do you find the color wheel and like mark out like every 10 what color it is. That would be that is so crazy. But it's it's not even just the color, it's like it, it exists in its own like like world. world. Yeah. But if like if I I played like a major chord. Mhm. Mm can you at the same way you would be able to like differentiate the different notes, the different numbers? Music is more so certain instruments just bring on different colors, mm. like brass mm. instruments. Like when I listen to jazz are lots of yellows and oranges. Okay. Right. Lots of them. I don't see any, almost no green with music. Everything is in a yellow, purple, pink range. Okay. And, and the song that is the most vibrant to me is a Cleo Lane jazz song called It, it Don't Mean No Thing. It don't mean no thing. If it ain't but I remember like, and I, look, I had it forever and I didn't realize like it was a thing until I was 18. And I said, we were at lunch one day at, at, at I was at school and I said, um, I was like, you guys know when you listen to music, like you'll see color sometime. <laughs> I think it was like, so what normal. What in the fuck? And everyone's like, what? And then my friend Ernest is like, oh, that's called synesthesia, Mateo. Oh my God. And at 18, he knew what it was. He's very smart. Ernest Kim, wherever you are, I love you. But yeah, he was super, <laughs> super smart. I just can't imagine like that line in my high school, like how people would have even reacted to that. Like, huh? It was college, 18. I was in college. Yeah, I was in college. Still, that's uh, amazing. Then, and then I looked it up. I was like, oh my God, I do. And then I, there was like this synesthesia like research thing. And they would give you like every color from every gradient from black wow. to like dark. black, And they would give you a letter and a number and they'd flash it at you and you'd click it, the whatever color you see. And you do this for like 40 minutes at the end. Eventually, they've asked you each one three times. I yeah. got a 99%. Holy shit. That and, is so wild. But is your association with colors to numbers different than everybody else's? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I was going to say there's no way I've only the met, Yeah, I've only met one other person who has it. His name is Frank. We went to the college together. And we would sit and argue. <laughs> About what color 12 is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so like the conversation that we were having is that um, I'm a pretty visual person. And so like when I think of like, okay, let's think about an apple. His is so interesting because he recalls apples or images of apples or logos that he's seen in the past, but he can't just fabricate just like an imaginary really? apple. Really? Can't. And of course, the internet is as great as it is. I, we've had this conversation and now I, have had, I had no idea this many people who watch our podcast also have the same thing. What's it called again? I can't remember what the name yeah. for it was specifically. I, like I can't create new imagery in my head. Mm -hmm. I can only Do you recall. dream? Yeah. But, I, but I'm just, but like dreams are kind of- Oh my God, Jimmy right. cheated on me in my dream last night and also made me French toast. I have fucking wild dreams. And last night was a real roller coaster. Lauren will wake the up. French toast one's fine. Yeah. It was burnt. And he was making oh. it on a hot plate under well, a sink. That's worse than cheating. <laughs> yeah, no, it's offensive. Lauren will like wake up and just look at me like I'm just dirt sometimes. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck did I do already? We haven't even made it out of bed. Oh. And sometimes I turn over and look at my phone and think, eh, and go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Three notifications from Hinge, not yeah, worth yeah. it. No, maybe I should try getting back on Hinge. Not after the Grindr? way you talked about them. Grinders is so stressful. I go on and off with it. Like okay. I'll be on it for like a couple of weeks, and then I'm like, what? It's just like, it's too much pressure. It's too, it's too much. It's too much. Do guys find each other for relationships on Grinders? Grinder just hookups. I know there's like a ton of hooking up, but like, do you can I'm, find? Yeah, you yeah, can. You can I mean, you can just specify what you're looking for. Usually, okay. it's for hookups. Yeah. But I mean, like, you know, it or chatting or whatever. Yeah. But I'm just, it's I'm very sensitive and it's so intense that I just kind of like crumble. Yeah. Do you have it on your phone right now or no? Mm -mm. I was gonna. I was. I'm curious to know how far because you got it's in feet, right? Mm -hmm. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say so like two thousand feet yeah. away. All of my gay friends. Have pulled up like oh yeah up seven feet 17 feet 20 i'm like 17 feet it's like that scene in aliens where she's like they're 12 feet away 10 feet away <laughs> where are they <laughs> in the ceilings yeah but like, i the interface is 
wildly different. It's crazy. Like I feel like all of our straight friends, like we've all swiped for them at some yeah, point in yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. It's different. You don't have to match. It just shows you where they are, so you can message anyone anything as long as they're it close is to so you. It's so crazy. Wholesale availability. Like, <laughs> yeah. like look, a catalog, right. Of men, but like get to the point. It yeah. should be called broken promises. That's broken what that app should be called. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's just too intense for me. I don't know. I don't like it. You love her. Too I get it. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I understand. I'm in the mood of being in love, and I don't know how to find that. Oh. I've only been in love once. What? But I'm like, I can feel like the urge coming back. I'm yeah. like, and I wonder if it's because my life has become so chaotic in the sense I'm always like moving and going that mm -hmm. I'm looking for like something to anchor me, right? And give me like somewhere to go to, you know, like sense of consistency and yeah. Because yeah, you can't take an audience home with you. It would be nice to like. Talk to someone and have something else to think about besides my stupid career, you know. My like stupid career. Someone to like when you tell them something you're really passionate about, go, that, that's nice. Did you want to eat this again? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I mean, I, I I look at like my friend Leo and Modi are in a relationship and they're just so good with each other. They're partners. They're with each other. Like they care about each other. I'm like, oh, how do you find that? It seems so hard. Leo and Modi? Mm -hmm. That's adorable. That's really cute. That's adorable. That's really cute. Okay. Venmo requests for less than $5. Awful. I... There's not one person in my life that is so important to me that if this happened, I would keep them. <laughs> if my mom like hits me for four fifty five, the only time that a Venmo under five dollars makes sense is when you're trying to find Piss a somebody user. Off. No, when, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I've done that too. But like when I when I can't find someone's Venmo, I'm like, will you just send me like five cents so that I can like find your username? It's the only time I've ever I think Venmo requested or sent. That's an interesting tactic. I never thought of that before. Yeah, people keep have found my Venmo, oh, so yeah. my Venmo name is like crazy now. It's like just literally a string of numbers and letters because they'll request their entire tuition. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Look at like, can I have twenty one thousand dollars seven hundred? No, you can't. Actually. I know. No, no, you can. <laughs> I mean, truly, <laughs> it's wild. The audacity. So, so my Venmo name is Whack, and so that's the that's like the easiest I to, way. I had to ask you for it the other day. I was like, "Are you sure this is you?" And I sent you money. That's yeah. exactly how I yeah. did. I sent you money. <laughs> yeah, it's very weird. Okay, big. That's a big no. Oh boy. Uh oh. And are about to get another divide. I feel, I feel a hot take coming. Uh, Has been to Italy, but still believes Olive Garden is the best. That sounds like Italian my friend restaurant. Nick. <laughs> Damn, Nick. I think we've heard you talk about Nick. Is he the no redeeming qualities human? Yes. Okay. Do you want, to, want me to call him right now? Yeah. He sounds like Squidward from SpongeBob. <gasps> I, I just, can't wait. I, would, I just want to hear like a, a, a casual checkup between the two of you. He'll pick up and be like, what? <laughs> He's so mean. I do this all the time at shows. He better pick up unless he's playing Fortnite with Donnie. Without you? Or he's having sex. Imagine Nick. He's not even working right now. What time is it in New York? Eight o'clock. What a piece of shit. He's fucking. He probably just ordered Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> he eats Chipotle five times a week and he keeps getting kicked out of Chipotle. There's Nick. Mm -hmm. Kicked Ooh. out for what? Well, I was waiting in Chipotle in the line. It was a lunch <laughs> rush hour and there was 30 people and the person in front of us ordered 40 burritos. So I got everyone in line to fight him and the manager came up to me and said, Miss, you're going to have to leave. <laughs> How long have you guys been best friends? For a while now, <laughs> yeah. And that, I talk about him so much now. It's like, and we do videos and stuff together. So it's so funny when I'm on stage and I bring him up because I have like a whole 15 minute bit talking shit about him. I'm like, my friend Nick, everyone applause. And they're like, Nick. Is he a comedian? <laughs> no. Okay. And I said, Nick, Bob the Drag Queen introduced Nick to us. And I said, and I said, Nick, I'm like, um, uh, you know, everyone applauded for you when I mentioned your name. He goes, as they should. I love it. It's so close to Squidward. You're so right. That is, that is just Squidward. He's just eating that nose. <laughs> Literally uh, Nick. And like a pussy blouse. Oh, I actually, that's exactly what he was wearing in that picture. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So, so red, dump them, red flag, run. Run. I oh, love an Olive Garden breadstick, though. <laughs> They're not good. They're too salty. I love salt. I love yeah, salt. Yeah, but salt, there should be more to the flavor than just the saltiness of it. I guess. I guess. Good friends with their ex. Ugh, I'm gay, so like... I know, the gays are wild with this. Wild. I don't know. I'm jealous. Of? That's okay. I'm just a jealous in nature. Oh, like when I'm, I'm, I'm just so a jealous, jealous person. <laughs> in general, no, with, with, with men, like I get very yeah, jealous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, I'm very insecure. 
Okay. So then you don't want your partners to be friends. No, with their- I would, I would, I would like it, but I would be like Italian and like suspicious. You yeah, know what I mean? But yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I am really trying this thing where like, I don't believe in, I do, I do not believe in if you enter a relationship, controlling that person any way, shape or form, okay. whatever they want to yeah. do or how they conduct their life. Mm-hmm. I have to be okay with because I'm not, they're not me. They're mm-hmm. another person I'm working with. Totally okay. Agree. That doesn't sound jealous. But I'm Italian and Mexican. I'm really jealous. <laughs> I will throw a chair out a window. <laughs> <laughs> Ask questions later. I was talking to my ex the other day. Him and I are friends, oh, actually. Okay, well, there it is. <laughs> and, and, and I was like, well, I'm going to London. He's like, oh, you want me to come to London? And I was like, last time we went to London, we were literally screaming at each other. We both started laughing. Like, it was the most <laughs> intense fights of our life, like screaming. Yeah, you get two Latin screaming people at each other. We're just giggling about it. We're like, that was funny. Anyways. See? Wow, that is so wild. If yeah. anyone raised their voice at me slightly, I'd cry for sure. Really? Well, oh, like you Asian, didn't... Asian household, right? So it's like, it's did, did not- Did they not scream? No, no, no. Asians are like, I don't think my parents have ever really yelled at me. Have you ever been to a, an Italian house, like at a dinner? Yes. Okay, so my <laughs> very first boyfriend was Italian and I have never been so overwhelmed by so many little Italian <laughs> old ladies in my entire life. It was very, I walked into the bathroom and there was like fish soaking in the bathtub and I was like, <laughs> What in the fuck is going on? I'm so Wait, confused. Is that Italian thing? Yeah, they just got fish. I mean, of course, yeah. And it was like salt <laughs> soaking or something. Yeah, that's that's the way you make it. Then you bake it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went to the bathroom to go to the bathroom. There was there was fish soaking in the salt or whatever. Where they, where in they the take tub. where they take baths? No, I think it was like they their a whole dedicated? basement. They probably have a basement. Was made. Yes. So yeah, yes, you yes. you don't go anywhere upstairs. You go to the basement. Yeah. The basement's where you live, where you cook, where you hang out. The upstairs is a museum. It was the sauce, the, the the whole sauce situation, and the fish was in the tub with the salt. And I'm just like, I, I was a really small kid, and I am not able to like put down a lot of food, which is very very stressful when you're surrounded by Italians of just like uh, uh, manja, man, manja, manja, yeah, manja. yeah, that was being screamed at me at all times. You said manja, I think. Man, manja, <laughs> manja, or manjare. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, Italians love to like yell and have multiple conversations at the same time. Oh my god! So I, yeah. we, one time, my cousins and I, we all went out to dinner. It was like probably sixteen of us, and my friend Chuck came with, and like he was, it looked like he was like like PTSD from war. <laughs> Like he couldn't figure out. And then we're yelling at him. We're like, no, don't order that because someone already ordered that because we all eat off each other's plates. So we all order different foods. So that way we can share. Yeah. You should not hang out with Italian. We, we go to Fellini's and we're like, okay, I'm getting this. Someone get this and someone get that. You order this so that I can have that. <laughs> and then you're like giving each other as much food as you possibly can. Jeremy does not share food. No, no, no. I'm very, very strict about it. Does not share food. Like when I, when I get a sense that you're going to want some of my food, yeah. I order two. Yeah, no, we love to, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, that wouldn't, that wouldn't I, work. I, I feel that. Like my, one of my best friends at, at, like at home, mm-hmm. Alex Zepieri, yeah. his father, Massimo Zepieri, Roman. I like growing up with a single mom, you don't get to watch your mom fight their significant other. Whoa, fireworks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. over the Zepieri, Zep- over Zepieri like, household. I, I told you I had to put the fucking remote here. Throws remote. <laughs> Okay. All right. Great. Oh my god. Yeah. Asian household. That would never happen. No. Oh man. No. Italians are so wild. It's yeah. cra- it was culture Passionate. shock. Passionate. Passionate. It is culture shock. Yeah. It really was. And it's hard to explain that they're not actually angry. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> they're like it's like their communication method. Yeah. Also, Asians also you know have very little body hair. So when he asked me to nair his back, <laughs> oh, we were no. in high school. I was like, so, Oh, this is not me. My God. <laughs> but wait, but it would be an it? Italian man who's familiar with beauty products. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Exactly. His mother probably works in a salon or something. <laughs> I forget what she did, but Wait. yeah, nared the back for the first time. So if I experience. ask you to nair my back, that's on the table? I want to nair your back. So we're engaged. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Is on Grindr slash Tinder to quote unquote make friends. Well, I, I can understand like if you're in a new city and yeah. like you want to like reach out to people and you want to say, hey, I'm looking for friends, but it, but, but. <laughs> you know, it's always the guy who's like shirtless and a thong. Yeah. Who's like only here for friends. It's like, well, what kind of friends are you hanging out with? Because <laughs> shouldn't you be playing like pickleball or something? Like something that you do, not just like you naked, like spreading your ass cheeks, like looking for friends. Looking for Here's friends. my colon. <laughs> By the way, are you a pickleballer? No, I just thought it was funny. That's <laughs> <laughs> pickleball is really picking up. It's speed. infiltrating Los Angeles. Is it yeah, really? It's yes. wild. LA, yeah. You guys are you guys live a different life here. Everyone's on a journey. White people love pickleball. Love. It's embarrassing. We're, I'm going to play tomorrow. 
Are you really? Yeah. God damn. I'm not a big sports guy. <laughs> you're telling me that you look like you fell out of a gym and you're not a sports guy? Yeah. But I am. <laughs> I do, I, I do like ice skating, like okay. hockey skates. I used to play hockey when I was oh, a little kid. Oh my God. I play roller hockey, but I, I do know how to ice skate. Yeah, I you actually showed up with a jacket that said hockey on it. Well, that I got with a guy on a date here in Los Angeles a couple months ago, and then he okay. kind of dumped me, so. Okay. Well, but Fuck we kept the jacket. Guy. I did keep the jacket. Yeah. The jacket's cool. Yeah, we got the jacket. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good jacket. Silver lining. Okay, was there another like a wonderfully visual segment there, show that I saw? Moving on to our next segment called <laughs> Advice for Straight. Okay, a, a fan don't, favorite. Don't do it. <laughs> Advice there. for the Straights. <laughs> I just think that you'll have a good perspective for some of our um, some of our listeners. Okay. And for those who don't know, if you go to any of your uh, social platforms, you do this wonderful thing where you just walk into rooms and just fucking crowd work. For well, yeah, your special is called the Oh yeah. the advice special, Netflix right? Netflix and HBO would not give me a special. They said I was unrelatable. So, um What? So, anyway, so I was like <laughs> I'm on YouTube, so I thought as a test run, yeah. I would do like an advice special, like a crowd work special, just like something really simple yeah. and fun. I love doing it like, you know, chat. It's not something I do when you see me on the road, but mm -hmm. like it's fun to do. And um so I just sold out two shows at the cellar. We recorded it hey. and put it up and it ended like with almost no promotion. It's crushing. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, okay, so I will, I'll, if I do my special or when I do it, I'll just we, do it on YouTube. In LA, we manifest things. We, it's, it's win. When, it's win. When, yeah. I do, when I do. Do you want uh, yeah. to hold some crystals at the same time? I yeah. do not want to hold crystals. <laughs> I don't believe in astrology. No crystals. We're not a crystal household. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, you guys seem more sane. A little more grounded. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. Okay. Is, is posting nudes, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Is posting nudes on Twitter without your boyfriend knowing cheating? It's not cheating, but it's definitely um you you you're lacking communication. <laughs> yeah. Who did this? <laughs> I know. I a know. homosexual, actually. This should be this should be advice <laughs> for gay people. <laughs> I always forget that you just full nudity and porn is allowed on Twitter. Oh, and yeah. so sometimes like someone will have liked something and it shows up on my timeline and I'm just like scrolling on public and I'm like, oh my God, that is like full fucking. This oh, happens today I, to me. Really? At, so my hair uh, stylist, is yeah. his name is Rodante. He is very gay. I mean, I love him to death. His name is Rodante. Right. It's, yes. And by the way, he's from the Philippines. His name is not Rodante, but mm -hmm. it's Rodante now. And it's been Rodante for a long time. In fact, him. it's Rodante Styles. Uh, yeah. He was on Twitter. He goes, I love watching. I, I won't pay for OnlyFans, but look at this. And everyone he follows on Twitter, just, just same. Porn. So I have Twitter. I deleted my Twitter years ago, but I have a Twitter now just to follow porn. Really? Wow. But also the news. So I forget. Sometimes it'll be like an ABC news article yeah. and the next is just anal. I'm like, Zero that's a lot for ABC. Yeah. <laughs> But think about it. You're getting your entertainment. You're yeah. up to like One -stop what's shop. going on in the world. Yeah, but there is like such thing as like Twitter dick. Like it's like, okay, these like there's this massive dicks. I'm like, this is this like it's like you become like it's too much. I had someone Twitter tweet dick? me um, a micro penis every day for like two months. Send you a sent you a micro penis. Send me a micro penis in the mail. <laughs> um, that's it even scarier. One envelope. <laughs> there you go. It was it was longer than two months. It was every single day. Someone would send me a micro penis. Every single day. Yeah, you know. So that's my that's my Twitter dick right there. I, I think that we're getting different Twitter Twitter's dick. a horrible place. I feel we should just completely abandon it. Start over. Yeah. Burn, yeah. Burn it yeah. down. Burn it down. One more time. Start over. Who wants people's opinions in the middle of the day? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? We're all wearing headphones walking around uh. the city pretending to not listen to people's opinions. And suddenly they mean something when it's written down. It's insane. I actually love this take. I, I do too. Okay. I'm, I'm down. I like it. Ooh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I blew him while drunk at a party. He came in seconds. Does that mean he liked it? He hasn't texted me yet. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> is the Betty Ford still accepting uh, applications? The Betty Ford Center? You guys know what that you guys are so young. It's you like lost a, us. it's a rehab place. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> blew him drunk at a party. He came in seconds. Does that mean he liked it? Like, how can you? <laughs> And how many ways can you yeah. say I'm insecure? I know. It's like, okay, well, he literally, like, it's one of those things that you can't fake. Like, you can't fake coming. No, Joan Rivers had a joke, though. She's like, hey, man, you don't understand. To, to fake orgasm, all you have to do is spit in the other guy's back. <laughs> <laughs> Joan Rivers would say that. She's, that person seems unwell. Uh, how do I close an open relationship so it goes back to only us two? Ooh. 
I don't know if I know a single, <laughs> actually, oh no, they broke up. I was gonna say, I, I don't know if I know a single open relationship that became closed and then continued to stay closed and do stay straight together. people do open relationships? Is, I mean, it's, it's a little do. more some common do. in some the do. gay world. Yeah, some do. I would say much less common or maybe the girl is bisexual and it becomes an open relationship. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah. So how does she close it? How does she close it? What's the- uh, How do you close an open relationship? Look, <laughs> it sounds like we want a lot here, okay? You also can't say the world is your oyster, and then mm -hmm. the second they go prancing, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> but actually, like, I think that's a little unfair. If you're feeling insecure in your relationship, you might want to sit down and work on communication with one another because it sounds like that's what's happening. This sounds like a communication um, situation that fixes all of these problems. Or maybe their other partner is super hot and then they didn't realize they would get so much action. Right. And they're right. like, you son of a bitch. I'm sitting here like, yeah. you know, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, we would go open with and some dry ne DMs. next day you would show up with just fucking Zac Efron and be like, what the fuck? And you'd be excited. I would, yeah, Zac Efron, I'm like, we could be buddies. This could be great. Yeah, if you hook up, please let me come. <laughs> And I, I yes, said what I yes, said. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I'll, I'll come, come I, and I'll come. I, 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 yeah. Tony, I got, yeah, I got it. You guys get done. He's out here with pasta, just like in just. <laughs> allora, ma chi vorrebbe mangiare la pasta? Zia che bro. I love that. And with that, that is advice for the streets <laughs> by yours truly, Matteo. Grazie, Lange. grazie mille. First time on the pod, hopefully not the last with that that segment. I feel like that's good. That's a great segment. Advice for the streets. I love that. I yeah. hope I. Yeah, I hope I was entertaining. I always feel. You are entertaining. This is very entertaining fun. Entertaining in three languages. Well, <laughs> de rien. <laughs> but yeah, I. Uh, I mean, thank you. In oh, French. Got it. Uh, gracias. De nada. Well. Gracias. <laughs> Wait, uh, before you go though, can you tell everyone what you're doing, what you're working on, like what what is your life right now? Because when you walked in, it sounded like you were doing about literally 16 things a week in three different countries. Yeah, I mean, just right now I'm on tour. So um, it's called the, the Al Dente Tour. Um, <laughs> I'm so happy you asked. Let me read for you where yeah. I'm going. Because this will come out in a week or two. So anything, yeah. beyond, anything okay. beyond like two weeks? All right. Um, I'm going to be, I have my schedule through next January. Um, I love that. I will be, well, these shows are all sold out. So uh, I, I opened up two more shows in Charlotte, March 17th to the 19th. Okay. I'm doing the Fillmore Theater in New Orleans. I'm doing the Miller Theater in Philadelphia. We just added a second show. Um, and their website's working again, so you can go yeah, there. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> no shade. The Egyptian <laughs> Theater in Indianapolis, uh, West Palm Beach uh, in uh, April 21st and 22nd. Yeah, I'm Oklahoma. We'll, we'll, we'll leave a link so everyone yeah, can yeah, go Mateo find Lane their, find their site. <laughs> We'll put a link in there. How many states have you been to? I think I've been to all of them. Wow. Besides Alaska and Hawaii. Wow, we literally what? just had this no, conversation. Hawaii? Yeah, I've never been to Hawaii. It's like the one place in America that we like have some like cool places culture wise to I check know. out. I know. Wait, my family didn't. I haven't been to Disney World or no. Disneyland. We just didn't have money growing up. Sorry, mom. And uh, so the, um, our vacations were like you're going next door to your cousin's house. Right. 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 And they're, you're going to love it. For the salted bathtub. And you're going you're gonna to dress up. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it was a really good time. I grew up there like my brothers and sisters. It was great. I love oh, turn this off. Sorry. Rude. My yeah. Anthony just texted me and my cousin Megan and Kelly. Sounds like a vacation. Love it. Okay, so we're gonna have everything um, Matea related linked down below. Thank, thank you. you so much for you, coming. Thank, on I'm so happy you reached out to me. But I, like, I truly had such a good time. This oh was a God. lot of fun. Thank you so much. I had a blast. We have been talking about trying to figure out how to get you here for a month now. Yeah. So we're excited. Je suis là. Oh. He is here. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. He said. He said, "I am there." Right. Yes. Yeah. I'm here. Uh, on that note, we will uh, see everyone next week on Wilds <laughs> Nine. Thank you all. Have a good one. Ciao. Bye. Bye.